Hey YouTube, I'm uh, Christopher Walker here again. Just gonna do a, another video, a quick update on some DVDs I got over the last couple of weeks. I've gotten quite a bit of them. But, um, yeah, let's start this update. And um, before I get into the actual update, uh, I just want to talk about what my schedule will be. Um, I'll, I'll, hopefully, I can start doing my action review, my action movie reviews really soon. Maybe even over the next couple of days, I'm probably gonna start them. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, can't wait to review some good old 80s, 70s action movies. Um, might do a horror movie in between. I don't know. Just gonna figure out how this is gonna go. Um, but my first movie I got was Hard Boiled. Yeah, this is the two disc. But um, Hard Boiled is an, an amazing action movie. Probably one of the best of all time. Just It's just for the action scenes. Is the reason why this movie is just so great. Um, Chad and Fat is in this movie, directed by John Woo. Uh, can't wait to. I'm totally gonna do a review for this some point, uh, upcoming. Um, this is a just such a great movie. Um, so there's like the tea house shootout at the beginning. There's the the amazing hospital shootout that lasts about 15 minutes of just pure gunplay. It's amazing stuff. Um, you got the great warehouse scene where the guys on motorbikes come in. They're just shooting up everyone. And Chad, in fact, comes in on a zip line with a MP5, and he's blowing these guys away, and he's got the shotgun and blowing up motorcycles. Um, such a great movie. John Woo is a master of action, probably the best action director of all time, in my opinion. Um... Chad and Fat is a great job. Um, this is just one of the best action movies of all time. Here, comes with the get this thing open. Oh yeah, shoot! I forgot it's the old DVD. Whoops. But uh, first disc, first disc, and the second disc. Uh, there's some more Dragon Dynasty releases, which I might get some of them. They look kind of cool. But uh. From what I've heard, I've heard this is an amazing company, so I'll probably check out some of their other stuff. But a uh, hard boil, it's an action classic. Check it out. Uh, next movie I got, it's kind of a comedy crime movie. And it gets shorty, the collector's edition. Um, stars John Travolta and Gene Hackman and Rene Russo, Danny DeVito. Um, just a really fun funny, good movie, uh, John Travolta plays, uh, Chili Palmer, and, uh, he pretty much goes out to Hollywood, and he's got this money with him, and it's been a long time since I've seen it, but it's, it's a, just a great movie, um, and Danny, uh, Dennis Farina plays the bad guy, and Dennis Farina's always a lot of fun, love it whenever he says the word fuck, I don't know why, it's kind of like Samuel L. Jackson, He's just, he's really cool at cussing. <laughs> but, um, this is a great movie. I, I literally put, picked this edition up brand new. Brand new. For $5. Because that was a steal. There's the punk cover. It's the inside. It doesn't take much to get into Hollywood. Let me open this up here. Just the background with, with the mob. It's a cool photo. Two discs. Pretty cool. A lot of cool features on here as well. Uh, got a little, little uh, booklet in here as well. With photos and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, really good movie. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, pick the movie up if you haven't ever seen it. Get this edition. Um, comes with a lot of good features. Uh, of course, this is based on an Elmer Leonard novel. And Elmer Leonard's got some great movie adaptations. You got... This is probably his second best. Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown is his greatest, in my opinion. That's his masterpiece. Um, and it's also, in my opinion, Tarantino's masterpiece, which I should do a video about that. But, um... Yeah, uh, Get Shorty, it's a great movie, a lot of fun, the Cadillac and minivans, um, just a really fun movie, 
got a lot of good features on there. Take a look at that. Some good stuff. Um, check this movie out. A lot of fun. Uh, the next movie I got is probably my favorite science fiction movie of all time. And no, it's not Star Wars. And it's got a tear in it on the side. But, um, there's a tear right there. And that, of course, is really Scott's Blade Runner. Um, this is my, hands down, my favorite science fiction film of all time. It's just, it's such a gorgeous movie to look at. I have not seen this edition yet. I grew up with this movie, um, my dad had the director's cut and he gave it to me and I was like nine. He was like, here son, you want to watch something cool, watch this. I'm like, okay. So I watched it and I was just blown away by the special effects. I'm like, damn, you know, this is great stuff. Um, Harrison Poor Harrison... Harrison Ford plays Rick Deckard, and he he's a Blade Runner. He works for the, I think he got kicked out of the police department or something like that. And um, his job is to retire replicants, and retire means execute. So his job is to kill replicants, and the replicants' crime is they're trying to become human. They're getting more emotions and all this stuff. And there was this escape with certain replicants, like six replicants, and Rucker Hauer plays the leader, Roy Batty. And he's got that great scene at the end where, um, I've seen things you people wouldn't imagine. And he's got that great monologue at the end of the film. But, um, sorry about the tear there. I'll cover that up. But look at that cover art. And that is just gorgeous. That is some beautiful cover art right there. Some great stuff. Um, you get, uh, three commentaries. You get an introduction. You get a trailer, so that was cool. But, um, Blade Runner, the final cut. Haven't seen it. Can't wait to do a review on this movie. Um, it's, this is such a great movie. One of my favorites of all time. Blade Runner. See this movie. If you haven't, just see it. Um, it's kind of long, which is one of the reasons why well, it's not that long. <laughs> but, yeah, Blade Runner. It's classic. Definitely, definitely check that movie out. And next up, I got two Coen Brother movies. And I probably need to do a top five favorite Coen Brothers movie list one day. The first one I got is the Thriller Blood Simple. And, um, yes, I know this is the old DVD, and this thing is messed up, too. The DVD comes out of place all the time, as you can see. It's not in the greatest of condition. The DVD thing here, I'll show you. This thing right here, it's broken. So the DVD's not always in place, but, um... And the inside. This is a great thriller starring John Guest, Francis McDormand. So look at that. DD's never in place. It pisses me off. Stay in place, goddammit. But, um, this is a great movie. Uh, Francis McDormand, John Guest, Dan Hidea, and Emma Walsh plays the private investigator. Pretty much, um, Dan Hidea as his husband, it turns out that his wife is cheating on him with this lover who works at, um, with a lover who works at the same bar as Dan Hidea does. And pretty much, Dan Hidea, Dan Hidea's character hires this private investigator named Visser, Visser, and, um, he wants Visser to kill them. But little does Dan Hidea's character know that Visser has other plans. Because he pays, he's going to pay Visser $10,000 once he kills the two. And, but, of course, Visser's like, I've got other plans for you. So, um, very tense, very suspenseful, edge-of-your-seat type thriller. Great movie, great Coen Brothers movie. It's your debut, one of the best debut movies of all time, in my opinion. It's up there, Michael Mann's Thief is the best, or Reservoir Dogs is the best, um, debut movie ever, uh, but yeah, this is a really genuinely kind of scary thriller, but, um, check this movie out if you haven't, it's a classic, um, the next Coen Brothers movie I got, which is probably my favorite Coen Brothers movie, and if not my third favorite crime movie slash gangster movie of all time, we're talking Miller's Crossing. Now, this is a wonderful film. I cannot wait to do a review. Oops, that's upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, I cannot wait to do a review of this film. 
Uh, this movie is amazing. It's got some good action scenes, some great characters. I think the characters are what make this film. Um, Gabriel Burns, badass in this movie. He plays Tom. He works for this um, Irish mobster, played by Albert Finney. And, um, so pretty much he gets kicked out and he goes over to the other big monster in the city named Casper and like Leo, played by Albert Finney and Casper, they're kind of having rivalries. So they kind of, um, he kind of goes over to Casper and stuff ensues. Let's keep it at that. And, um, yeah, it's a great movie. Just a really good one. Uh. My favorite Combos film is The Back. Uh, Marcia, Gay, Marcia Gay Harden is also in this film. John Turturro, who is a Coen Brothers regular. Albert Finney plays Leo. We got some features, we got some interviews, still gallery and trailer. Um, but uh, I love this movie. I cannot wait to do a review on this film. This movie is just so good. Such classic. Watch Mars Crossing if you never have. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now, if you're not a fan of the crime genre, I don't think you will. But if you are, definitely pick this up. Um, my personal favorite Coen Brothers movie. So, let's go over the films I got. Got Hard Boiled 2 Disc from Dragon Dynasty. Got the MGM Collector's Edition that gets shorty. Got Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, the Final Cut Single Disc. Got the Coen Brothers Blood Simple. God damn it. And I got Miller's Crossing. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Christopher Walker. I'll see you guys later for whatever but um hope you guys enjoyed the um update um let me know in the comments what you think about these movies i love them all and i hope you guys do too but leave your opinions and what your favorite part is in the movie or whatever in the comments um i'll see you guys later i'm christopher walker